Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Trucker J here. I am a, at a uh, Flying J here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, dropped off my load of Pepsi this morning. Picked up my second load of um, floor tiles, uh, the ceramic kind. And my load doesn't have to be there till uh, 10 a.m. on the 25th. Uh, today is the 23rd. It's about, I don't know, 2.30, I think. So I'm sitting here in the truck stop, looking at my route planning and everything. It's about a two, two and a half hour drive to get to Nashville right now. That'll put me smack dab in rush hour traffic. The way that the company GPS is taking me uh, will take me through uh, Chicago um, on that route. I don't like going through Chicago. So I'm probably gonna end up going the Nashville way and uh, head straight up to avoid some of the traffic. Oh, it changed. So I was gonna do a, uh, I got on here to do this video because I'm at this truck stop and it has a timer uh, when you go into the fuel aisle. So if you look on the very top, it's got a countdown. Now where it says open, right before I did this video, it was at 47 minutes. 47 freaking minutes when you got these trucks that are waiting. So what do you think he was doing? Probably in there taking a shower, taking this 30 minute break in the fuel aisle doesn't give a rat's ass about all the rest of the truckers that are sitting here trying to uh, get fueling down the way because he's a super trucker and he's the only important one on the road. These are the type of guys that piss me the hell off. Don't take your break in the fuel aisle. Get your fuel, pull forward, get the hell out of there. Don't go grab food, don't take a shower, don't go in the sleeper berth and crash for you know 30 minutes or an hour it's very rude and it puts everybody else uh, behind their schedule and the way it is right now with so many trucks on the road very limited parking everybody has to you know abide by the hours of service now it's just really clustered doing something like that hanging out in the fuel aisle puts everybody behind and will piss off a lot of truckers I've seen just about fist fights in the fuel aisles because drivers are sitting there screwing around inside when there's other drivers behind them trying to get fuel. So, just wanted to uh, give you guys a little PSA about that when you get out here on the road. Um, don't hang out in the fuel aisle. Get what you need to do and, and get the heck out of there. So, what else is going on? Um, it's not a bad flying J. It's got plenty of parking. Uh, it's got a Denny's restaurant here. So uh, I'll actually be able to get a decent meal instead of uh, the typical Wendy's, McDonald's, Subways that seem to be at uh, all the rest of these truck stops. Had to go over the uh, cat scale um, earlier today to uh, get the weight checked on my, on my load. They loaded me up with these uh, floor tiles. They are extremely heavy. I don't. I think I only have. I have 20 pallets on the back of my trailer, that are only maybe a foot or two high. That's it. But they're ceramic tiles. They they weigh a lot. I think my weight. What was my weight? My weight was just under 45,000 pounds. So. Like I said in my other video, whenever you um, get loaded and it's 30,000 pounds um, or higher, you definitely want to make sure that you get weighed uh, to make sure that it's distributed on your uh, axles properly. Don't want to go over a DOT scale on the highway and uh, get popped with a hefty fine and ticket. Um, speaking of tickets, the way that it works here at Total Transportation is that they will cover the um, cost for you up front, but they'll take it out of your paycheck. So if you do get a ticket, um, it does come out of your pocket. It's not on the company. They're not gonna take care of it for you. So it's always important that you make sure that you uh, weigh your loads and um, make sure that you're in compliance with uh, DOT so you don't get yourself uh, in trouble or get a ticket. 
It's a lot of traffic. Uh, beautiful day outside. Um, I know that that truck temperature is not displaying properly, but it does say it's 93 degrees. Uh, but it is facing the sun, so it's probably not that hot. But I guarantee you it's 80, 85 out there. It is very toasty. Beautiful weather out here. Yeah, been kind of stuck in rain for the last, you know, few weeks. So it is nice to get out of up north and uh, be down here where it's a little bit warmer and not have to deal with as much rain. Uh, my load does have to go to Illinois. Not really super psyched about that. Um, I was thinking about taking a day or two off. Um, but it was like a, a 700 mile load. Uh, it'll be about a 10 hour drive for me. So it's not gonna be too bad. I do plan on taking uh, about five or six days off uh, the beginning of next month, uh, hang out uh, with the family. My little brother's graduating college uh, in Denton, Texas. So go hang out with him for that. Uh, Mother's Day is that next weekend. So hang out with mom. The last day that I took off um, has been almost a month and a half now. As I've mentioned before uh, in my videos, I don't do 34 hour breaks. I run off of recaps. So I could almost run every single day over and over and over again, just uh, based on how many uh, hours I drove um, seven days prior. And uh, I'll do a video on how to do recap hours. I don't like to sit. So if I'm sitting for a long period of time, I'm not making money. Sitting for 34 hours is almost a day and a half. And I could run a lot of miles in a day and a half, so I don't like to really sit that long. Um, since I have been running pretty hard, that's why I am kind of chilling today. I'm not really in too big of a rush. I've got plenty of time to get there kind of uh, starting to get a little bit beat actually running uh, non-stop every single day the uh, last break I took was when I went up to Alaska and uh, saw the kiddos so like I said it's been about a month and a half since uh, I took some time off but uh, the miles are good I mean they'll run you hard here if you want the miles they'll definitely run you as long as you can show up for your appointments uh, on time and your deliveries on time they've got no problem uh, running uh, running you, giving you those miles. Our settlements come out on Tuesday, so, um, or I'm sorry, our, uh, our papers are, are uh, due by Tuesday at midnight, and then they give us our, uh, kind of like our pay stub, we call them settlements. We normally get that Wednesday or Thursday, and then we get paid on Friday. So I'll be able to see how many miles will be on this uh, next check. I did run some uh, really good miles. Had a, uh, pretty sure I had a hazmat load on there too. And with the hazmat, you get an additional 10 cents a mile. So that's always good. Um, if it's placard, that is. Now I have had a couple of uh, hazmat loads that uh, were not placard. And uh, you don't get the extra mileage on that. They have a couple of contracts. Uh, we have one with Averett and uh, it requires there to be a driver that has hazmat endorsement because they don't know what they're putting on the trailer um, whenever you know they send a driver there so a driver that goes to that particular uh, company has to have a hazmat endorsement so you show up you know if it's a hazmat that's placard cool you get the uh, extra 10 cents a mile if not then you know you just don't have to worry about the the hazmat stuff having to stop every 200 miles and and uh, all the other good stuff, so that's pretty good. Well, I think I'm gonna go get myself something to eat here at Denny's. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for checking out my videos. I do appreciate it. Um, if you do check them out, do me a big favor. Um, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Uh, it goes towards you know my credit and views and everything uh, on the YouTube page. And uh, as my channel grows, uh, get more subscribers and everything, um, it's just going to help me out in the long run. So I appreciate it. If you guys uh, do check out these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do that also. Help me get my channel up and uh, be trying to do uh, more videos, more um, how-tos, helpful, you know, stuff getting back into, uh, you know, trucking 
and uh, for people that are just getting into trucking to try to help them out uh, best I can. Um, when I got back into trucking, that's what I went off of. Um, a bunch of other uh, YouTubers had some videos, but the way that things have been going now with some of these guys that got you know, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers is that they've already done all those you know, how-to videos in the earlier days. Now it's just kind of BSing, um, you know, stuff that happens to them on the road day to day. There's not a lot of beginning uh, videos that are out there anymore. So since I'm getting back into uh, trucking and doing the over the road for the first time, um, I will definitely uh, help you guys out best I can. Whenever I run into something that might be helpful or useful to you, I will definitely, uh, you know, try to do a video on it. If you guys have any questions, uh, any comments, um, if my videos suck, if you don't like how sexy my beard is, you know, whatever it is, feel free to leave the comment down below. Uh, send me an email. Let me know if I'm doing all right, if I'm sucking, uh, whatever it is. Um, I know that I have gotten a few requests on when I'm going to do another live feed. I don't really mind doing a live feed. I just don't want to do it if there's only going to be one or two people in there. It kind of defeats the purpose of doing a live feed. But, you know, I don't have a problem doing it. You know, if there's going to be, you know, five, you know, not five, maybe 10, 20 people in there, then, yeah, I'll do a live feed. You guys can ask me questions. Uh, I'll help you out best I can. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Again, thank you guys for checking out my videos. Uh, hit like, hit the dislike, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. If you ring the bell, you will get notified whenever I do new videos. So, you guys will look out for yourself and one another. And until next time, Trucker J is out.